New at 11, San Diego is getting $24 million from the federal government to fix the Palm Avenue Bridge over the 805. It is part of the Bipartisan Infrastructure Act. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live in the South Bay now to share the impact on our bridges and roads. It's a lot of money coming to Palm Avenue. Oh, that's right. Good morning, Chris and Nettle. You can see that heavily traveled overpass right behind me. Well, it will soon be under construction. Today we got an idea of why it's being repaired and what it's going to look like once it's open. Now this half century old bridge carries more than 38,000 vehicles per day, including more than 750 trucks. We counted. Th that volume of traffic combined with the age and the size of the bridge leads to congestion and delays. This bridge is also a key connector for the Otay Mesa Nestor community, and it's only a few miles from the U.S.-Mexico border. Now that was Deputy Highway Administrator Andrew Rogers, who according to him, this project will provide an immense benefit for the communities that rely on the bridges to get to work and school, as well as transport goods across the region. This project will also make the bridge more structurally sound against earthquakes. The upgrades will have modernized sidewalks to make them accessible for people in wheelchairs, adding bike lanes, as well as installing bus stop sidewalk landings and concrete pads for future bus stops. The goal is to provide a safer driving experience with less congestion, fewer delays, and longer long-term maintenance costs. It hopes to improve the quality of life for a historically disadvantaged community, they say. Now, this is all possible because the city will receive $24 million in federal funds from President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law. It's one of 43,000 bridges across America that need repair and one of nine projects given millions of dollars. Now, in terms of when we will see this bridge under construction uh, that will be in the near future. This is all about getting the announcement that the city has secured that $24 million to start that construction here on the bridge behind me. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you live from Otay Mesa.